Good evening. On behalf of the Board of School Directors, Dr. Dicely, the high school administration, faculty, and staff, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome all of you to Red Lion's virtual commencement ceremony for the class of 2020. It is through the combined efforts of many, parents, teachers from kindergarten through 12th grade, brothers and sisters, aunts, uncles, and grandparents, and friends both great and small. It is through their support and your efforts that the class of 2020 stands where it is this evening, on the brink of graduation. In my previous 14 graduation addresses, the theme usually centered on the class song or the class motto. This year, the focus will be different because this year is like no other in the history of the Red Lion Area School District. I recently finished reading biographies of Ulysses S. Grant and Stonewall Jackson. Both men epitomize the American experience in different ways, but the lesson is simple. Tempora mutantur, no se mutamor in illis. Times change and we change with them. Both Grant and Jackson relied on their education and experiences before 1861 to modify to a new and changing world. Both Grant and Jackson were afterthoughts at the beginning of the Civil War. Both were out of the military. Grant was working in the family business and Jackson was a college professor. Times change and we change with them. Fast forward to 2020. When I went on the loudspeaker on Friday afternoon on March 13th and told the students to take everything with them, that we would be closed for a while, I can almost guarantee that nobody thought we would be out for the rest of the year. Times change and we change with them. All of us adapted to a new way of learning and a new approach to education. I must commend you on your efforts as we adjusted to our new reality. As we confront change, we still look to embrace meaningful events and rituals like graduation. Graduation is an important rite of passage and that is why we have tried to make this virtual ceremony as personalized and meaningful as possible. Class of 2020, you are ready to embark on the great adventure known as life. You have faced adversity and disappointment over the last few months. Reflect on how you have personally handled it. And is there anything that you could have done differently? The reason that I want you to reflect is so you can learn and adapt because struggle is part of life. Just as change is part of our new reality. To set yourself up for success, take the lessons learned at Red Lion and face the future looking forward because the lesson is quite simple. Tempora mutantur, no se mutamor in illis. Times change and we change with them. Thank you. Amira Lynn Ayaz is the daughter of Pamela Ayaz and Robert Wissinger of York. Amira was a member of National Honor Society, the robotics team, where she served as president her senior year, the governor's STEM competition, where she served as co-captain her senior year, and the Crochet and Knit Club. Amira plans on attending Georgetown to major in biology and join the Community Scholars and Georgetown Scholars Program. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Amira Ayaz. Emma Jane Hively is the daughter of David and Rebecca Hively of Brogue. Emma was a member of National Honor Society, President of Executive Council, Captain of the Varsity Girls Tennis Team, where she placed third in the District Doubles Tournament, and Junior High Youth Group and Worship Leader at New Covenant Community Church. Emma plans to attend Liberty University and participate in the Honors Program. She will major in social sciences to procure her teaching license to be a secondary history teacher and eventually receive her doctorate to teach history at the collegiate level. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Emma Hively. Leah Elizabeth Krieger is the daughter of Dorothy and Gary Krieger of York. Leah was a member of National Honor Society, where she served as vice president, tri -M, co-captain of the PA Governor STEM competition, Executive Council, York Youth Symphony Orchestra, PMEA District and Regional Orchestra, and Distinguished Young Women of York County. Leah plans to attend Catholic University of America, where she will major in nursing with a minor in music performance. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Miss Leah Krieger. Gwendolyn Ann Lloyd is the daughter of Heather and Brad Lloyd of Red Lion. Gwen was a member of National Honor Society, Yearbook and Varsity Club, and served as the Secretary of Executive Council. She was a member of Cross Country, Indoor and Outdoor Track and Field, was a Division I YAIAA Cross Country All-Star, Athlete of the Week, and a YAIAA Medalist and District Medalist, and a State Qualifier. Gwen plans on attending Towson University, where she plans to run indoor and outdoor track and cross country and major in elementary education. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Gwendolyn Lloyd. Kirsten Colleen Lloyd is the daughter of Brad and Heather Lloyd of Red Lion. Kirsten was a member of National Honor Society, Executive Council and Yearbook. She was a member of cross country, indoor and outdoor track and field, was a three-time YAIAA track champion, track and cross country district medalist, athlete of the week, Division I YAIAA All-Star in Cross Country and Track and a State Qualifier. Kirsten plans on attending Lock Haven University to run cross country, indoor and outdoor track and field, and major in secondary education in biology. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kirsten Lloyd. Alyssa Jade Lutz is the daughter of Debbie and Troy Lutz of Windsor. Alyssa was a member of Envirothon. Secretary of National Honor Society, tennis team, FFA, Teen Naturalist Club, and interned and volunteered at Nixon Park Nature Center. Alyssa plans to attend Millersville University and major in marine biology. She plans to become a marine biologist and do field work and research after she graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Alyssa Lutz. Kyle Zhang is the son of Yifeng Zhang and Gui Wan Lu of Windsor. Kyle was a member of Marching Band, Tri-M, National Honor Society, and Symphonic and Concert Band. Kyle plans on attending the University of Pittsburgh main campus, where he will major in mechanical engineering. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Kyle Zhang. When I thought about what I was going to write for my senior speech, one topic hit my mind instantly. 2020 vision. Now I've heard this phrase more times in the past school year than I needed to, from yearbook titles to class mottos. Now I'm not going to make this whole speech about how we need to find our vision for the future, or how we as the senior class are the vision of success. Rather. In spite of all the negativity in the news and all the unfortunate things that happened to us in the past few months, I would like to put in our field of view, with our 2020 vision, the positive things we've done, are doing, and will do once this pandemic is over. By refocusing our views, we push our minds and our perspectives to a better place than most of us are currently in. When the beginning of the school year began, many of us were expecting to complete our last steps in a normal fashion and continue on with our lives. For 12 years, we made accomplishments, failures, missteps, and overcome hurdles that the classes before us have made as well. From our forgotten Spanish class assignment, to our first successful job interview, to our last set of standardized tests, we as the senior class of 2020 were moving down the very same path that we have seen every year. A path of normality. Some of us have made tremendous achievements, from music to sports to all programs in between. Whether that be our final touchdown of the season, making a successful music audition, or spending days on a beautiful piece of art. Having grown up in the music department, I have been witness to many seniors this year who have excelled in their work, going to perform in higher level groups, and just being their genuine selves. So far, our 2020 vision was a success, giving us memories for the past, accomplishments for the present, and a true path for the future. However, as we have seen and quite honestly didn't expect to see, 2020 would throw a wrench in what most of us would think to be a conventional senior year. I remember during the football and marching band season that, in all honesty, I was getting bored with how normal the school year was seeming to be. The fall season events ended and winter began. A new year started, 
And then 2020 started to go downhill pretty fast. I think for all of us seniors, it is easy, easy to say that this virus came out of left field. For a good majority of time, our media was focused on the increased tension between the United States and Iran, a horrible school shooting in Texas, or President Donald Trump's impeachment trial. Smaller things around the world would appear on our television, such as sharing updates on a sickness in China, which, at least for me at the time, I didn't care to listen to. We felt invincible. Just another class finishing off their last few months at Red Lion. As soon as we knew it, the virus was in the United States, and in the blink of an eye, our school was closed. From here, our senior class branched off into a multitude of different day-to-day -day activities. Some stayed home, while the others went to work wherever employment could be found. Our senior class stepped up to the plate unlike what I have ever seen before. To those working, thank you. Now, it is time for us to refocus ourselves and redefine what our 2020 vision is. The unexpected has happened, and we must have the courage and strength to rise above and conquer our fear, despite the depressed state the world seems to be in currently. There isn't much to do now except to head into the future. We as the senior class will go down in history, being a pivotal part in a global event. Many of us will continue working. Most of us will pursue a higher education, and all of us will ultimately end up being the leaders of this world. As I'm wrapping up my speech, I would implore you to take some time and see the positive things that are around you right now. If I were to drop a camera and crack its lens, could I not just replace the lens, thus being able to see better again? If a mirror were to break, could I not just put the pieces back together? I leave that for you to decide. With our old 2020 vision, our path to the future was going to be smooth sailing. We've been hitting our blind spot, and now we have to pick ourselves up and refocus ourselves to see things in a different light than we did before. Our mark on history is inevitable, seniors. While times might not be the best now, don't give up. Thank you. Thank you.
Dear Class of 2020, Good afternoon to you all. I'm sure some of you know me, but maybe some of you don't. My name is Dorothy Poholsky, and I am proud to be a senior this year. Love will always be important to me, which I experienced through my years at Red Lion. As a Red Lion student, I am proud and so blessed to be a part of the class of 2020. A wise teacher, my elementary school gym teacher, Mr. Schisler, once told me, always say I love you to your parents at least once a day. I have never forgotten that. Love is very important to me. I love anyone and everyone. The teachers I've had also have shown me love. Mrs. Curry is one of them. She came to my house two times a week for three months to tutor me. She is the best teacher and has helped me in so many ways, including when I had a brain injury last year and I was out of school for three months. That is true dedication and love. Take a second to think about which teachers have shown you love. We've had our ups and downs as a class, but we hurtled through it. Our love has been tested as well as our friendship. I would like to take a moment to remember Aaron Weiss. He went to Locust Grove Elementary School with me. He was the life of the party. All the guys wanted to be his friend and they were authentic towards him. The Awesome Acts for Aaron was created to broadcast our talents as well as to make Aaron happy. I remember my fifth grade teacher, Mr. Earhart, gave him a signed Steelers football. That made Aaron smile. After he passed, we came together through love to wear blue for him. It was his favorite color. Losing a classmate is a major loss, but we were able to come together through love, and it's that love that kept us going. After all that we've been through, we just learned to love one another. Now, at this day and age, we've grown dramatically. As we leave the high school as seniors, as adults, and as new people, I'll miss you all. I have a feeling we'll see each other again. Remember, through times of struggle, we can always rely on love. L is for laughter, O is for optimistic, V is for value, and E is for each other. Thank you, and I'll miss you all. Goodbye. So, so come. Come.
One of the most famous authors of our time, J.K. Rowling, says it is our choices that show what we truly are far more than our abilities. This statement is more relevant to our current situation now than ever before. While we sit at home unable to attend school or even work, our lives have been restricted to the confines of our home as each passing day seems to be the same as the one before. Our abilities to live our lives as we did prior to quarantine has been greatly limited. But these limitations do not, nor will ever affect our power to make choices. Life is going to throw so many more difficulties at us. Unfortunately, more than we will be able to count. But the people who stand out in life aren't the ones that face the most difficulties. It's the people who chose to keep moving forward when those difficulties hit the people who didn't give up. We need to make the choice not to give up and not to lose hope. Because our school was closed, we lost our spring sports seasons, our mini-thon, prom, and traditional graduation. I've heard so many people refer to our class as the forgotten ones for missing out on field trips and events over the years, and now this but each and every one of us has memories that we will never forget. For me personally, I'll always have the memories of standing behind home plate before a softball game. I'll remember the smell of the dirt and hearing, come on lady lions coming from behind me. I was so proud to be wearing black and gold. For Minithon, I remember playing games in the gym, watching one of my friends get her hair cut. We all panicked, but it turned out great. And of course, dancing to fight childhood cancer. But even through the experiences we've lost this year, we still have the opportunity to make a choice. We can sit at home in this very moment and say that this pandemic, this shutdown has ruined our year. We can say that with all these missed opportunities, what's the point at working towards something anymore? Or we can choose to face this tough time and refuse to let it win. Because if our difficulties win, that means we lose. In class of 2020, we are not a losing team. We know what we're worth, so I say let's go out and get what we're worth. We've already made history by simply graduating now in 2020. But let's continue to make history. Let's choose to enter college, the workforce, the military with confidence and make the next chapter of our lives worth every second. Was this the way anyone wanted senior year to end? No, and sadly we can't change the past, but we can choose to be excited about our future. We might lack the ability to do too much physically at the moment, but it's more important that we have the opportunity to make the choice to keep going. Fellow seniors, 
we have the choice to no longer let ourselves feel like the forgotten class. Instead, let us choose to be the students who push past all the difficulties we faced in high school. I know at the beginning of the year, we all said, this is going to be a year to remember. And it is. I just think the world needed a little more clarification as to what we meant. But the whole world will remember the year 2020, our year. Let's make the choice not to let this year beat us. We can do this, we can keep moving forward and we will win. Let's finish our year out and choose to make it better. Because again, there will be difficulties, but it's what we choose to do in response that will define us. Thank you. Welcome graduates, families and friends, faculty, staff, and school directors of the Red Line Area School District to the 2020 commencement celebration. The 2019-2020 school year has been an emotional year. It has been a heartbreaking year. The last quarter of the school year does not resemble anything close to a traditional end of a year. Many opportunities and memories were not realized because of the COVID-19 shutdown. Absolutely no one wanted to see the year end this way, especially our students and their families. Our board of directors, administrators, faculty, and staff are just as saddened by the shutdown. Yet, as you find yourself part of historic times, today does mark a major accomplishment in the lives of the class of 2020. It was not that long ago when caregivers walked these seniors to the bus stop for the first time. That moment was full of anticipation, excitement, fear, and loneliness. Although the house became a bit quieter and the seemingly endless nights of teething and fixing boo-boos slowly came to an end, there was a feeling of the unknown. As the years passed, that small fear of what the future might hold was still present as your child became a big kid. Today, that journey has ended and a new stage of life begins. There will still be anticipation, excitement, fear, and loneliness. Hopefully this time it will be easier. Seniors, as you proved those many years ago, you are well prepared. I am confident that is true today. You have the poise, confidence, and personal courage needed for success. Seniors, tonight signifies not only the celebration of the end of childhood, but also the beginning of adult life. Now you have come to another new beginning. This time, instead of walking to the bus stop, the destination will be vastly different. For some of you, it will be college, military service, a career. You will likely find that as you go through life stages, you change. You are not the same person you were in elementary school. Some of your likes and dislikes have changed. You are certainly not that somewhat awkward adolescent you were in junior high. What will you be like in four years, eight years, 40 years? That's exciting to think about the possibilities. Although our lives are uncertain at best, your past suggests that your future will be promising. You will have stories to tell about your senior year that are unlike any living generation. You are a part of history in the making. In the past two weeks, Time Magazine dubbed you the pandemic generation. The subject line read, a global crisis changed their lives. How they respond will change the world. You've been given opportunities here at Redline that should set you apart from the rest of the world. You are well prepared to lead the change that the world demands. You are better equipped to make a difference in the world. This year, we saw the world change. Although we do not know what the future holds, we know that you are the ones who will be best prepared to accept the challenges that are now before us. You possess both the knowledge and the pride to impact positively everyone you meet. You have a competitive advantage over others. You are better than the rest. You have proven that. You have earned the right to call yourselves Lions. You are the pride of Redline. Mrs. Crone, members of the Board of School Directors, as a commissioned officer of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and having witnessed the successful completion of the academic criteria required, 
I now present to you the class of 2020. Denisha Selena Abrantes, Evelyn Elizabeth Adams, Madison Taylor Adams, Samir Umar Ahmad, Eric Keith Anderson, Logan Gonzalez Axe, Amira Lynn Ayaz, Brooks Dean Azarello, Samuel Robert Bailey, Mason Edward Bayer, Connor James Baker, Cameron Alexander Baldwin, Shelby Lee Baldwin, Spencer Alexander Bargainer, Owen Aaron Barkby, Riley Jean Barker, Justin Charles Barnes, Matthew Joseph Barnett, Corinne Marie Barshinger, Catherine Elizabeth Barshinger, Sydney Paige Beaverson, Luke Stephen Beck, Kaylin Skye Behan, Cole Eugene Bennett, Kaylee Marie Bickle, Taylor Ann Veensack, Cheryl Ariana Bingaman, Demetrius Schuyler Bittler, Robert Joseph Blanchard, Jared Michael Bodish, Isabella Catherine Bond, Aiden Tyler Bauer, Amber Nicole Bowman, Bernay Morgan Boyd, Kyle L. Boyer, Spencer Allen Boyer, Haley May Brenneman, Abigail Mackenzie Brenneman, Kaylin Leona Briggs, Jatna Nicole Brito Arambulo, Chloe Faith Brown, Madeline Elizabeth Brown, Galen Emmanuel Ira Brubaker, Charles Andrew Buckley Uzmed, Aaron Kathleen Burke, Logan Gage Burkholder, Dylan Colton Birkins, Bailey Quinn Callahan, Connor Bruce Campbell, Garrett Ellis Carl, Matthew Howard Case, Michael Paul Case, Christian Derek Castangue, Lee Ojmir Kaufman Banks, Ting Chen, Douglas Aaron Chisholm Jr., Aaron Cecilia Chirilla, Ryland George Clagg, Abigail Brooke Clark, Destiny Helena Clinton, Michael Glenn Clausen, Brock Hansen Clauser, Nathaniel Talil Coles, Cicely Page Confer, Alex Patrick Connors, Rachel Ruthanna Conrad, Alexander Malone Cook, Kirsten Wendy Corbett, Cole Joshua Korsner, Justice Kenneth Cosentino, David Timothy Creeley, Cassidy Marie Crow, Kale Mason Cusimano, Dana Catherine Cuddy, Anias Ninrage Daisy, Autumn Cheyenne Doherty, Giovanna Marie Davis, Alexis Marie Decker, Tiana Ali Dibler, Brielle Veniste Mesa de Leon, Douglas Charles Delp, James Rodney Deal Jr., Gage Mark Dietz, Clay Cameron Dodge, Brooke Nicole Doniger, Ariel Taylor Donaldson, Lauren Nicole Dantel, Riley May Dorer, Gianna Lee Dovell, John Joseph Downs Jr., Larissa Nicole Doyle, Michael Anthony Drew Jr., Kyle Patrick Duffy, 
Rachel Caroline Easton, Kaya Jocelyn Edwards, Dylan Thomas Urbaker, Lexi Nicole Emenheiser, Sandra Marie Fowler, Daniel Shane Faulkner, Rebecca Marie Feathers, and Flor Feith, Caitlin Rose Ferguson, Samantha Alessandra Ferrari, Coda Nicole Fisher, Kale Wallace Fleming, Lily Grace Flinchball, Sarah Grace Fess, Christopher Brian Funk, Madison Lee Galloway, Brennan Jonathan Gone, Tristan Parker Giese, Aubrey Patricia George, Santiago Valle George, Stephen Corey Gessner Jr., Dawson Lee Gilbert, Sarah Ann Gilman, Sawyer Samuel Golden, Karina Gissette Gonzalez, Brett Earl Gould, Jenna Marie Grafton, Chase Connor Gray, Colin Richard Green, Noah Drew Greiner, Riley Chalice Grove, Devin Nicholas Guerreri, Elise Noel Gunn, Derek William Harbold, Lily Grace Hare, Eric McNeil Haynes II, Samantha Lauren Haney, Caitlin Amber Hefner, Sarah Jean Highland, Emma Nicole Heim, Walker Richard Henry, Emily Kathleen Herbert, Bryce Dayton Herman, Cheyenne Morgan Hilbert, Logan Thomas Himmelwright, Ashlyn Sierra Hinton, Emma Jane Hively, Class President, Shane Benjamin Hoffman, Dylan Demetrius Hollenbeck, Kobe Lawson Hollins, Jonathan Carl Holmgren, Taylor Elizabeth Holtzinger, Dylan James Hopkins, Sierra Rain Horton, Miracle Lee Howard, Logan Travis Hubbard, Isaac Vladimir Ibarra, Devin Irizari, Ethan Ryan Jamboretts, Delaney Nicole Jess, Connor David Johnson, Jamila Diamone Johnson, Cole Brian Joins, Jillian Nichelle Jones, Brennan Scott Kaler, Brooke Elaine Keller, Kurt Ronald Keough, Adam Jennings King Jr., Dawson Carl James Kling, Sheridan Michelle Kling, Sydney Lee Knob, Sophia Emily Kohada, Samuel Durham Coons, Kayla Nicole Coons, Erica Marie Cotterwas, Madison Marie Cress, Leah Elizabeth Krieger, John Peterson Coons, Paige Riley Korea. Joshua Zachariah Landa, Jacob Ephraim Lanehart, Morgan Kara Lair, Elijah James Leapart, Brandon Keith Leonard, Madison May Lester, Gwendolyn Ann Lloyd, Secretary, Kirsten Colleen Lloyd, Hunter Lane Logan, Cole Hanson Lockery, Gage, Patrick, Love, Aslan, Roxanne, Looking Ball, Robert, Scott, Lusby, Trey, Lucas, Lutman, Alyssa, Jade, Lutz, Austin, Andrew, Lutz, Logan, Alexander, Lutz, Gracie, Lee, Lynch, Quentin, Coel, Lyons, Hannah, Lee, Mac. Edneida Marrero, 
Brandon Charles Martin, Kobe Keon Martin, Maya Elizabeth Martin, Antonino Bryce Mazamudo, Cody Morgan McCoy, Shane Christopher McDaniel, Austin David McGowan, Levi Joseph McKeever, Brielle Elizabeth McLernan, Elizabeth Ashley McWilliams, Mason Andrew Meads, Dwayne Yade Melendez Medina, Emmanuel Mendoza, Charles Adams Miller the Sixth, Grace Kathleen Miller, Hunter Noel Miller, Jared Keith Miller, Jonathan Edward Miller, Kirsten Elizabeth Miller, Ryan Jared Miller, Mason Joseph Miller, Michelle Ann Montez, Samira Marie Morton, Ethan James Myers, Jared Allen Myers, Aiden Russell Noggle, Adam Joshua Naylor, Jordan Lynn Ness, Connor Deason Newby, Sarah Lillian Nadova, Brandon Lee Olweiler, Delica Esperanza Ortiz Perez, Danielle Cecilia Santana Denrich, Kayla Elizabeth Pastor, Shriji Yurvish Patel, Micah Stephen Paulus, Hannah Renee Pierce, Leonardo Pina, Dorothy Jean Paholsky, Clay Williams Poole, Seth Thomas Posey, Alex James Potter, Taylor Jalen Powell, Alexis Alicia Price, Jillian Elizabeth Robb, Tanya Maria Rindazzo, Hannah Marie Raymeyer, Sherry Beth Reef, Clint Edward Road II, Damian Ray Rice, Aaron Lee Reinhold, Nicholas William Rizzo, Shay Avery Robertson, Brendan Michael Robinette, Allison Lee Robinson, Christopher Robert Roquel, Allison Elizabeth Rohrball, Kylie Jaden Rohrball, Bailey Allen Royer, Reese Marcico Rolovich, Hannah Jolisa Sanchez, Garrett Coben Saylor, Gavin Riley Scalorn, Richard Paul Schimmick, Nathan Andrew Schmuck, Brian David Schnorr Jr., Madison Elaine Marie Show, Nathan Bailey Shushler, Michael James Shortino Jr., Eric Matthew Scott, Dakota Michael Seeger, Wyatt Nathaniel Seacrest, Alexander John Serrano, Gabrielle Sienna Sewell, Rachel Louise Seymour, Sierra Janae Shank, Remy Anayath Shockley, Bailey Drew Schoff, Ethan Douglas Shoup, Nicholas Ray Schultz, Tanner Dalton Seacrest, Emmett Kirk Simpson, Natalie Marie Sindlinger, Isabella Renee Slagle, Autumn Rose Smith, Blake Nathaniel Smith, Ellie Brianna Nicole Smith, Fallon Dawn Smith, Jeremiah Brandon Smith, Logan Christopher Smith, Matson Robert Snell, Alexandra Lynn Snyder, Destiny Jean Snyder, Grayson Matthew Snyder, Kira Marie Snyder, Tanner Reed Snyder, Haley Marie Soltis, Damian Vincent Soul, Evan 
Garrett Spence, Zachary Lee Stambaugh II, Emily Marie Stair, Spencer Douglas Stevens, Brandon Michael Stinson, Samuel Clement Stover, Haley Danielle Strayer, Kirsten Nicole Strong, Mary Elizabeth Summers, Micah Taylor Sumwalt, Lindsay Elena Shaletka, Julia Elizabeth Talley, Chloe Hope Tarleton, Gage Michael Taylor, Abigail Nicole Temple, Katie Charlotte Thompson, Benjamin Stephen Thornsbury, Hunter Matthew Throne, Jurgen Dario Tiza, Evan Carter Troidy, Micah Courtney Trotter, Jillian Yvonne Tyson, Lauren Elizabeth Uffelman, Victoria Rose Elizabeth Euler, Olivia Lee Vadel, Clarice Caroline Vanderelst, Isaac David Vasquez, Pedro Luis Vasquez Jr., Pierce Donovan Vines, Jalen Rashawn Vince, Taylor Marie Ann Walker, Talbot Grace Walworth, Sean Michael Warner, Allison Louise Warren, Zoe Ann Watson, Avalon Mist Wanky, Brandon Michael Weinstein, Brianna Alexis Weiser, Emily Marie Wells, Logan Matthew Welty, Brooke Elaine Wentz, Timothy James Wenzel, Cameron David Wheeler, Maya Danielle Williams, Samuel Luke Williams, Anaya Jane Wilson, Isaiah Victor Frederick Wilson, Scott Charles Wilt Jr., Alexis Paige Weinmiller, Emily Nicole Winpigler, Aubrey Grace Wise, Mitchell Thomas Wise, Zachary Zane Wise, Sarah Grace Wolf, Daniel Hannigan Wolfkill, David Hannigan Wolfkill, Madison Marie Wood, Kenneth Ashley Reed III, Mercedes Marie Wright, Gerald Zapata Jr., Brianna Marie Zeidler, Luke Andrew Zeidman, Dylan Michael Zeller, Kyle Zhang. In memory of Jonathan Seward Taylor, in memory of Aaron Weiss. Graduation is normally a bittersweet experience. Parting ways with routines, friends, and hometowns can be challenging, but the thought of new adventures and opportunities brings excitement. This year, 
The end of our academic career may seem more bitter than sweet. Instead of June 5th, March 13th was the last day our class was gathered together in one place, and as long-awaited milestones were missed, the satisfaction that comes from the appropriate closure was lost. I do believe it is important to lament over what should have been, but I challenge the assumption that missing significant events has any bearing on what will be. One of the main goals of education is to equip students with the tools necessary to reach their full potential and find success. It is with full confidence that I say that missing out on the latter part of our senior year has not hindered our ability to achieve this goal. Success takes on a meaning unique to the person defining it. It can be something as small as mastering a recipe or as large as performing a life-saving surgery. An objective measure of success is impossible when there can be so many interpretations. It is because of the subjective nature of success and the unaltered goal of education that I believe losing the last part of our senior year is of no consequence to the realization of our potential. Though we were unaware at the time, we walked out of Red Lion High School on March 13th supplied with the means necessary to achieve whatever our definition of success may be. The purpose of education is realized not in the misfortunes of the past, but in the way we utilize our education in the future. As we endure this abrupt end to our senior year, we are often told by leaders that we are a resilient generation who will lead the way into the new normal with our ingenuity and unique perspectives. While this may currently seem like an annoyingly positive assessment of the situation, I have to say that I agree. Our world is still functioning in the midst of a global pandemic because of people going after their different definitions of success. We are the class next in line to bring a little more stability to the world by how we choose to define ourselves, and I can't wait to see what we accomplish. As our last moments together as a class are drawing to an end, I'd like to leave you with one more closing thought. Though we will each face different obstacles because of the separate paths we have chosen to take, a common hindrance to success is shared by us all. Because success is unique to each person, comparing your life to someone else's is an unfair judgment that will only end in jealousy and shame. A popular saying argues that if a fish is judged by its ability to climb a tree, it will spend its whole life believing it is a failure. The same principle can be applied to us. Classmates, please do not compromise your definition of success by pursuing what you think the world elevates as most desirable. When we meet again at a reunion 20 years from now, wearing our I Survived COVID-19 t-shirts, I hope you will remember that the path your life has taken and the accomplishments you have made are not inferior to anyone else's. They are just different. Class of 2020, it has been a long journey. We have come to the end of our time together, albeit not the end we would have liked, but the beginnings of our success stories remain unaltered just around the corner. Let us go and find them. We may not be gathered together in the same space tonight, but I still invite you all to accompany me in the traditional acts that represent the start of our unique success stories. Please join me in the moving of our tassels as a symbol of our graduation. You know what spreads faster than any virus? It's fear. Now when it comes to fear, you can either forget everything and run, or you can face everything in rags. Please stand and remove your caps for the playing of our alma mater.
class of 2020, you are dismissed. I believe. And let me tell you what I believe. I believe that. I believe we're gonna face everything. I believe that we will win. How you fall, it's how you get back up. And what don't kill us, make us stronger, boy. Bet that love, take a swing at us. You better hit hard, cause when we swing back, swing back, oh God. It's time to knuckle up, buckle up, and fight hard. Now let's all buckle up, buckle up, and fight hard. Que yo bendiga a toda tu familia, mi amigo. Se parte a mandito, vamos, dale duro, te veo. Say with me. Uncut real raw When things get tough That's when we show up That's when we show out That's when we show y'all It's time to knuckle up